Jamie Keeley, what's up, man? It's your boy Sean Kingston, chief from Radnor, Pennsylvania. What inspired you to come into the music business? Well, basically, you know, I grew up around a lot of different, you know, reggae artists, and my brother was a very, you know, musician, and my mom loved music and played all type of music around me. So I basically kind of soaked up a lot of game about the industry, and I said, you know what? I really want to do this. So I recorded my first song when I was nine years old. That was basically it. The rest was history. From Kylie Francis, representing Gibsterville, Pennsylvania. If you could collaborate on a song with anyone, who would it be? I think it would be uh, Jay-Z. I'm a huge fan of Jay-Z. I think me and him on a record would be dope. Question from Nicole Lynn. From Nicole Lynn Danks. I'm sorry. Question from Nicole Lynn Danks from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. What is it like to work with Justin Bieber? Working with Justin Bieber is amazing. I mean, the kid is talented. He's definitely a great man. I mean, uh, you know, we have a personal relationship behind the music, so for me and him to work together, it's just like, you know, it was kind of real fun. It was like always busy. It was just real fun. Playing around wrestling on the Xbox in the studio. It was real cool. Question from Tara Henry, representing Westchester, Pennsylvania. Next time you see Justin Bieber, tell him I love him. I will. <laughs> Next question from Janice Martinez. Don't have a question for him, but I do have to say that every one of his songs are amazing and touching. Shout out to Janice, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she didn't have a question, but yeah. <laughs> Samantha Lee, she says, Hey, Sean, where do you get your inspiration for your songs? Samantha, she's from Philadelphia, and um, I get my inspirations from life. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that I've been through, stuff that I saw, you know, I grew up around and stuff like that. Delani says, what inspired me to become a musician? Delani represents South Jersey. What inspired me to become a musician is basically like my mom, people that, you know, my, my, my brother, my sister, like, you know what I mean? Basically my family, like, they, make, they, they encouraged me and they motivated me and said, you know, every day, like, yo, you put, you're going to be a star and you got it in you, do it, it's going down, boom. So I kind of built up, you know, a lot of confidence in Started on music. So now we got Salem Burke. And Salem Burke says, When I visited your homeland, I was so hoping you were there and you weren't. No question, I was just hoping to see you. I think you're amazing. Shout out to Salem, Salem Burke. I see you. Um, Dan Skur from Dublin, Ohio says, what, in your opinion, was your best song? To me, um, all my songs are great. I couldn't just narrow it down to one because I feel like every time I write a song, I always shoot for the best of Sean Kingston. And I always try to bring out the best of me, so all my songs are great, man. Um, from Reagan Tustin, represents South Jersey, she says, Why did you want to work with Justin Bieber? Just wondering. I wanted to work with Justin because, you know what I'm saying, he's talented, he's a new generation. He's hot, and uh, he's a ladies man just like me, you know what I'm saying? Um, next question from Laurie. Laurie is represent Pennsylvania. She says, who was your idol growing up? Laurie C.K. My idol growing up was basically, you know, uh, Bob Marley, Michael Jackson, you know, um, Biggie, you know what I mean, guys like that. Alyssa Myers, representing Pennsylvania, <laughs> says, can I have a free ticket to your next show? Um, sure. You know, hit me up, twitter.com slash Sean Kingston. Maybe you'll get lucky enough to, you know, hit me up and we'll talk and I'll get a ticket to make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Laurie comes again with another question. Do you have any pets? No, I do not have any pets. Um, I was a dog guy growing up, but eventually, like, you know, one of my dogs, they ran out the house and they, they I don't know, it was like 2005, they ran out the house and got lost and I just never, just happened to get another dog. Um, my Respaw, my Mel, oh, Mel Respaw, he says, isn't Justin Bieber cool? 
Yes, he's cool, he's amazing, he's dope, great friend of mine. Amanda Ace Vito, represent Pennsylvania, says, Do people often compare you to Ayaz? Ayaz is my artist. Some people compare Ayaz to me, is the question. Ayaz is my artist. I signed Ayaz two years ago off MySpace. He's, I signed, you know, he signed to my record label, so we have that similar sound because, you know, he's kind of like my protege, kind of, so. I mean, it's all love. Next question is from Jenna Cunningham. Do you have an inspiration as a kid that led you to, do you have an inspiration as a kid that led you to your career? Jenna Cunningham represents New Jersey. Um, I have an inspiration, basically, you know, it was music, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and my, it was basically a lot about, you know, Bob Marley, Michael Jackson, a lot of their music, and basically my mom, you know, she's a huge music person. I learned a lot from her. Justina, represent Allentown, Pennsylvania, says, What is your favorite number? Seven. Christina McFarry, what is your most embarrassing moment? When um, I got suspended from school, and they called my mom, and my mom came up there. She drank me up and gave me a little whooping. For all the students in the class. <laughs> Taylor Love says, What was the job you wanted as a child? She's representing Holland, Pennsylvania. And the job I wanted was, um, I don't remember what exactly job, but I know I used to cut grass. I used to do, I used to do lawnmower and stuff like that. But I don't, I, don't, I don't know what exactly job that I really wanted to do. I just wanted money. Um, Taylor says, Taylor Kobe, Taylor Marie Kobe says, can you look for me in you and Justin Bieber on the tour? I will be in the crowd. Okay, Taylor, I look for you. I'll give you a shout out. I love you. Kendrick Coker says, how did you get your big break to fame? He's representing Collegeville, Pennsylvania. I got my big break off MySpace. I'm saying MySpace signed me. It was huge. Um, 2006, I got signed. Um, came out 2007 and it's been a blessing ever since. Timothy says, who's the artist you inspires the most? Who's the artist that inspires me the most? Jay-Z. I think he's a great role model, clean cut guy. He's a businessman. You know, I like his, you know, I would want my career to shape up just like his. Um, Spencer Fragmentin says, how long total did it take you to reach where you are now? It took me a couple years, man. I mean, it's just beautiful girls. I've been blessed to be still relevant and putting out music. So it's been a couple years. But I've been doing it forever since I was eight. Um, Ashley Burnside says, Sean Kingston, I like your music. It calms me down. She's re she represents nothing to have Pennsylvania. And thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. Chris, we Chris Weber says, "When are you gonna tour again?" I will be touring this summer with the little bro Justin Bieber. We're doing a tour together. It's gonna be crazy this summer. Make sure you get your tickets right now. Ticketmaster.com. Amy Brown says, "Do you have any new bling?" Um. I got some new stuff that I just ordered, so for right now I'm just keeping it, you know, spiritual with the rosary and stuff like that, keeping it simple. I'm not really into all the big jewelry no more like that, but I just ordered some nice new simple stuff that you might see. Just stay tuned, keep it locked, and you'll see. We, rep we got somebody, rep we got Eastbound representing Sweden. What kind of gaming system do you have? Are you an Xbox guy, a PlayStation 3 fan, or do you have any old school Nintendo or Super Nintendo or Wii? I'm a PlayStation 3 guy, man. PS3 all day. We got Kai Hibbert saying, Was being on Yo Gabba Gabba as cool as it looked? My son loved that episode. Yo Gabba Gabba was funny, man. Dancing with the puppets. He was nice. Had a lot of fun, man. Um, I was kind of nervous because I didn't know how to you know, do a little mini spinny dance, but once I got a hold of it, it was cool and I enjoyed myself. Last but not least, Amy Dub says, Do you acquire more? Team fans working with the Beebs, or do you think that he upped his fan base? Or do you think that he upped his fan base by working with?
How has it been working in the music business? Does it ever get stressful? Yes, it does sometimes because it's like, you know, you're dealing with a lot of big corporate business people and you have to understand your business and you have to be on point and know how to carry yourself and talk every single time. And you basically, you know, all the different cities and living out your suitcase and you can't see family members, you know, and stuff like that. It gets hectic on the road. I think that's where it gets more stressful at. Was it fun working with Justin Bieber? Yes, it was great. Um, you know, we have a personal relationship behind the music. Uh, I'm a huge fan of his. We teamed up. It was a great collaboration. I'm happy it was turning out great. How did you begin your career? Basically, you know, I started doing music when I was, you know, eight years old in Miami, Florida, running around. Um, I always wanted to sing and do music, but it was just like to, to get over that edge, to get over that hill to where I could just, you know, really, really focus on music and just go hard with it. So once I, I had confidence and everybody told me that I could do it, that's why I went full-fledged with it. And here I am now. Is Sean King's their real name or is it just a stage name? If not, what's your real name? It's not my real name, it's just a stage name. My real name is Keyshawn Anderson. What encouraged you to sing Eeny Meeny with Justin Bieber? And what is it about? Um, Eeny Meeny is about a girl that can't make up her mind, that can't stay, you know, she's trying to play. She always, she's basically a player, basically. You know what I'm saying? So now it's not the dude is a player. We put it on the girl. She's basically a player. She's trying to play all these different type of dudes. And you know, just the people like, yo, we ain't having that. You know what I mean? Like, she's an Eeny Meeny Miney Mo lover. Like, I mean, that's what it's about. Um, are you and Justin coming to Norway this year? Um, not sure. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Give a shout out to your Norway and fan number one, Maria. Shouts out to Maria in Norway. I love you. Thanks for supporting me. Who's your number one inspiration? Um, my mom. I love her to death. She taught me a lot in this, uh, about this business. And um, yeah. How do you want your life to be in 10 years? Man, just bless, you know, continue to be doing music, you know, um, signing more artists to my record label, Time is More, and Time is More Entertainment, doing more business, you know, uh, endorsements and stuff like that, and just keeping it going. If you could work with anyone in the whole world, who would you like to work with? Um, right now, it would be Jay-Z. Fan of Jay Z, I think me and him on a record would be crazy, and I, I would love that. If you could sing with any singer from the past, who would it be? B I G P O P P A, going for nah man, B I G, me and Big Big Young. Like I said, like that's like my all all time favorite. So I think if me and him do something, to be tight. Did you always want to sing, or did you want to do something else when you was younger? Always wanted to be a singer. It's not into nothing else. Always wanted to be a singer. If you did get into singing, thank God you did because you're amazing. What do you think you would be doing right now? Um, hard question because I'm singing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what I'd be doing if I wasn't singing. Um, what are your hobbies besides singing? Jet skiing, riding four wheelers, playing basketball. I love sneakers, shopping sneakers, and shooting videos. Shouts out to Vlog Pine Flames. I like, you know, shooting videos and stuff like that. A lot of people don't know that, but I'm really into videos and stuff like that, and cameras and stuff. Um, how did you and Justin Bieber meet? We met two years ago. Um, he was rehearsing right next door to me. I was rehearsing for today's show, and he was rehearsing. He was in SIR and he was rehearsing the next room to me. And Jen was like, oh, I have somebody that wants to meet you. My manager is Jen. And I was like, who? I was like, who is that? And she's like, Usher, a new artist. He's a new kid from Canada. And we met and we just kicked off and we was laughing. I picked him up. I was, it was just like, it was just like a, a, a friendly, like, you know, instant. You know what I mean? And we kept in, we kept in touch. You know, um, I changed my number. At first, and I texted him, I was like, yo, I changed my number, stole my number, and we just always used to text each other, and then boom, he came down Miami for Super Bowl weekend, I kidnapped him, 
and uh, recorded Eeny Meeny in the studio, and that was it. All right, so check this out. I got a question, and it's a bit of a statement. If you could come back as an animal, what would you be? <laughs> I just want to say I love your music, and I think you're such an inspiration. You tweeted me back before on Twitter, and I was so happy. I totally didn't expect it at all. I love Face Drop and me love. And Eeny Meeny. Stay strong and keep smiling. If I was an animal, dog, I love dogs. When are you going to release a new album? New album coming soon. We don't have a title yet, but it's coming real, real soon. Um, soon before you know it, make sure you look out for it. This album's going to be amazing. I feel like a lot of people's going to get to know who the real Sean is, and not just Sean as an artist, but to get to know me, and get to see how incredible I am, because I'm taking it more on a higher scale, turning up the notch, so make sure you look out for the album. The song Face Drop was dope. What was the inspiration for the song? Basically, you know, Face Drop was basically about, you know, like, a dude basically saying, you know, you counted me out, and now look where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the type of stuff, like, we go through, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's basically like me bringing up my past and me, you know, talking about, you know, okay, you could have had this, but, you know, you left me, and, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm making your face drop. You know what I'm saying? One of those type of songs. Um, who is your, what's your favorite color? Favorite color is red. What is your favorite country to visit? I love Europe. I think everywhere in Europe is amazing. Which artist would you want to collaborate with? Jay-Z. And those are my questions. Thank you for hanging out with Sean Kingston.